Although their often electric on-screen kisses aren't always planned. From the tender to the funny to the deeply controversial, here are a few on-screen kisses that were never supposed to happen. One of Lost in Translation's most iconic scenes revolves around the tender moment shared at the end of the movie between Scarlett Johansson's Charlotte and Bill Murray's character Bob. During filming, Murray famously whispered something in Johansson's ear that neither actor has revealed. The ensuing kiss wasn't planned either. When asked about the scene, director Sofia Coppola told The Daily Beast, I remember sometimes Murray would spring things on Johansson, and it was fun to get her reaction. During Stranger Things 2's season finale, Lucas and newcomer Max share a kiss at their school's winter dance. In an episode of the after-show series Beyond Stranger Things, Sadie Sink, who played Max, explained that the kiss was a surprise and that showrunners Matt and Ross Duffer sprang it on her the day of filming. Oh, Sadie, you ready for the kiss? I'm like, what? No, mm -mm, no, that's not in the script. <laughs> That's not happening. Ross Duffer had previously joked with Sink about her kissing her co-star Caleb McLaughlin, and the idea had stressed her out so much that he decided to have it happen for real. It was a decision which sparked outrage online. In wake of the controversy, Sink told the rap that she had always felt comfortable on set, saying, The Duffer brothers always create a comfortable space. And if I felt uncomfortable with anything, I wouldn't have done it. Oh, anyways, oh, it's wow. great. I can't imagine without it. Thank you. Yeah, well, yeah you're welcome. <laughs> Luke and Leia's scene towards the end of The Last Jedi is arguably one of the movie's finest moments. It's an exchange which carries extra weight considering Carrie Fisher's tragic passing only months after filming ended. The scene is punctuated by a forehead kiss from Luke to Leia which was improvised on Mark Hamill's part. It was just uh, spontaneous and uh, really momentous for me because I, Luke was saying goodbye to his sister forever. Hamill has been unable to watch the scene since. She'll be forever missed, and she's irreplaceable." After the home release of The Hunger Games Mockingjay Part 2, Woody Harrelson told Entertainment Tonight that his on-screen kiss with Elizabeth Banks had nothing to do with the script. She didn't know I was even going to do it, and I just kissed her. Harrelson later told the Associated Press, I, I personally always wanted to kiss her. I don't know if it was the right thing to do. And Although Harrelson denied knowing it, the AP's reporter claimed she'd heard that Banks intentionally flubbed takes during the scene so she could keep locking lips with Harrelson. Thanks to the logistical realities of filming a television show, an unplanned kiss between two actors can often involve more people than initially intended. That's what happened after Game of Thrones actors Gemma Wieland and Indira Varma improvised a kiss between their characters Yara Greyjoy and Ilaria Sand. Leave him be. Seems like you don't need a protector. This moment takes place on a ship just prior to an attack by antagonist Euron Greyjoy. Whelan's back was injured at the time, however, and since she couldn't perform all of her stunts, her double was brought in to replace her, and also had to kiss Varma. Varma told Entertainment Weekly that, I had to start kissing this poor stunt double and she was so terrified. I don't think she'd ever been put in that situation before. She's used to falling over and being attacked and all the stunts, but to be kissed by an actress was a bit beyond her. According to Bryce Dallas Howard, the kiss between her character Claire and Chris Pratt's Owen was never in the script for Jurassic World. She told Out Magazine, We had shot the scene in the way that it was written. There was no kiss. And then on the last day, that happened. What you see in the movie. The movie's director, Colin Trevorrow, however, has since revealed that it wasn't entirely spontaneous. He took Pratt aside and suggested he kiss Howard, but never told her. On Jurassic World's commentary, he explained, the idea was we're just going to have Chris Pratt surprise Howard in front of 200 people, and that's the take that's in the movie. During the season 3 premiere of The Office, Steve Carell's character Michael learns that his employee Oscar, played by Oscar Nunez, is gay. In a misguided attempt to prove how tolerant he is, this happens. Oh. Oh. Mm. Oh. According to Nunez, however, the script only called for Carell to hug him. He told the AV Club, We were just supposed to hug, and he kept hugging me. And that particular take, he came in really close, and I'm like, where is he going with this? Thank you. Thank you. See? David O. Russell didn't cast Jennifer Lawrence in his 2013 black comedy American Hustle until very late into the casting process. The director told Vanity Fair that even though she was young for the role, Lawrence had a, quote, timeless quality, and that she took to the part chemically. 
Since we're talking about an improvised kiss scene between Lawrence and Amy Adams, it would be interesting to learn exactly which chemicals Russell was talking about. Lawrence played Rosalind Rosenfeld, wife to con man Irving Rosenfeld, played by Christian Bale. At a pivotal moment in the film, Rosalind argues with Irving's mistress Sidney, played by Amy Adams, in a bathroom, and in the middle of the confrontation, Rosalind aggressively kisses Sidney and then bursts into cruel laughter. Russell said the kiss was improvised, recalling that the idea was pitched to him but that it didn't exactly fit his vision. In a 2013 press conference about the movie, Adams said even though the kiss was her idea, the credit for the moment goes to Lawrence. Adams went on to say the kiss didn't just feel like a moment where two girls are going to kiss on screen, it felt emotional, and called Lawrence's laugh that followed the kiss genius. <laughs> In 2014's Edge of Tomorrow, United Defense Force Major William Cage, played by Tom Cruise, is arrested by a superior officer for insubordination during an alien invasion. After his records are deliberately altered to make it look like he's a private, Cage is forced into action, where he quickly dies in battle, only to discover he's trapped in a time loop, where he relives the same day leading up to his death over and over. His only ally is Rita Vratasky, played by Emily Blunt a highly regarded sergeant who's also the only person who accepts that his time-looping dilemma is real. Find me when you wake up. Speaking to Film School Rejects, screenwriter Christopher McQuarrie said the filmmakers struggled to find a place in the film for Cage and Rita to kiss, but nothing they tried seemed genuine. He said, It always felt false. It always felt like they weren't focused on what was really important. McQuarrie and his colleagues gave up on the kiss completely, but apparently Blunt had it. McQuarrie said that as they shot a scene in which Rita says goodbye to Cage, Blunt just kissed him goodbye in the moment, and it was not in the script, it was not even discussed. According to McQuarrie, after the scene was filmed, Blunt said, It just felt right. It felt right, and I did it. In season four of Riverdale, CW's teen drama paid tribute to Hedvig and the Angry Inch, a stage musical later adapted to film about an East German trans rock singer in the 80s. In the episode Chapter 74, Wicked Little Town, Casey Cott's Kevin Keller decides it's time for Riverdale High to host variety shows again. When Principal Honey warns Kevin not to perform any numbers from Hedvig, Kevin and his friends fight back by performing multiple numbers from the musical. During the Hedvig original Tear Me Down, Kevin and KJ Appa's Archie lock lips. And according to Cott, even though the kiss was never planned, it absolutely had to happen. Cott explained to TV Insider that there's a part of the Hedvig stage musical when the titular hero goes into the audience and kisses an audience member. Inspired by this, while filming his performance of Tear Me Down, with Cott's Kevin Keller playing Hedvig, Cott kissed Appa on the cheek. But then, as Cott explained, The next take I went in to do the same thing and Appa turned his face and we just kind of laid a big one on each other. And then after that, we were like, this is exactly what it should be. This is like, perfect for this number. Thankfully, everyone agreed, and the kiss made the final cut. From the beginning of the sci-fi crime drama Person of Interest, fans noticed romantic tension between Jim Caviezel's CIA operative John Reese and NYPD detective Joss Carter, played by Taraji P. Henson. However, it takes until the third season for those feelings to find any kind of physical expression. In season three's The Crossing, Reese and Carter finally share a kiss while they're hiding from the bad guys in a morgue. Sadly, it's destined to be their first and last. At the end of the episode, the corrupt cop Patrick Simmons ambushes them and shoots them both before running away. They're both hit, but Carter is mortally wounded and she dies in Reese's arms. According to the show's producers, even though the kiss was a landmark moment for the characters, it was a decision the actors made completely on their own. Person of Interest executive producer Greg Plagueman told The Hollywood Reporter, the kiss was not scripted. We never wrote it in. It wasn't in every take. There were takes where they didn't do it, and there were takes where they did. Plagueman went on to say that when they looked at the takes without the kiss, it felt like something was missing and that the kiss deepened the connection between the characters. Sometimes, an unplanned kiss in a TV show or a movie will generate controversy felt well outside the editing room, and that's something Tommy Davidson learned while filming the 1998 romantic comedy, Woo. Jada Pinkett Smith played Davidson's love interest in the rom-com, and in his 2020 memoir, Living in Color, What's Funny About Me, Davidson writes that neither he nor Smith were satisfied with the script's ending. He says he pitched the idea of ending Wu with the couple dancing in the middle of a city street, and apparently everyone liked the idea. While dancing with his co-star in the new scene, Davidson kissed Smith without warning. 
Though he said Smith flinched when he kissed her, at the time he quote, didn't think it was all that big of a deal. But there was someone who thought it was a big deal, Jada Pinkett Smith's husband, Will Smith. According to Davidson, after the scene was shot, Will Smith followed Davidson into his trailer and things got very heated between the two. Davidson explained, There was a moment there when we might have come to blows. My reactive fight-or-flight instinct was triggered and I could have exploded. Thankfully, Jada stepped in and helped to calm things down, and Davidson and Will remained good friends afterward. I was just about to retaliate! <laughs> Between the 60s and 80s, Valerie Leon made a name for herself playing young beauties, particularly in James Bond flicks. She appeared in both 1977's The Spy Who Loved Me and 1983's Never Say Never Again. In a 2017 interview with West End Extra, Leon named one of the Bond actors, Roger Moore, as one of her favorite actors to work with. Along with The Spy Who Loved Me, she worked with Moore in the TV series The Saint and the 1978 war film The Wild Geese. But Leon said that one of her favorite collaborations with Moore was on the early 70s action comedy TV series The Persuaders. She appears as Space Queen in The Long Goodbye, as one of a number of women claiming to be heiress to a dead scientist. She recalled, Roger gave me an unscripted kiss. I just closed my eyes and enjoyed it. They kept it in. There have been plenty of steamy moments on the medical drama Grey's Anatomy, but in the show's season 14 finale, there was one that was less steamy but plenty surprising for almost everyone involved. Early in the episode All of Me, even though she's about to get married to Justin Chambers' Alex and everyone insists they can't see one another before the wedding, Camilla Luddington's Joe rushes to see Alex and her other friends because she has news she can't keep to herself. She's just learned she's been tapped for a highly sought-after surgery fellowship at Massachusetts General Hospital. Ignoring all the protests about not seeing her fiancé, Joe announces it to her friends, predictably kisses Alex, and then much less predictably kisses Jessica Capshaw's Arizona, before giving her fiancé a second kiss. It's just a quick kiss, but Capshaw is visibly surprised, and the moment didn't go unnoticed by the audience. Asked about the kiss on Twitter, Luddington responded, Ha! It was unscripted, but I thought, hello, who wouldn't want to also smooch Arizona Robbins? Fittingly, you could interpret it as a kiss goodbye, as All of Me was Capshaw's final appearance on the series. The model Elle McPherson hasn't done a lot of acting work, and when she starred in 1997's The Edge, she'd done even less. McPherson plays Mickey, wife of billionaire Charles Morse, played by Anthony Hopkins. Hopkins and his co-star Alec Baldwin, who plays photographer Bob Green, have the lion's share of screen time. Early in the film, Morse suspects Bob is having an affair with Mickey, and this is confirmed at a particularly inconvenient time, when Morse and Green are trapped in the wilderness and fighting for their lives against a massive Kodiak bear. In a 2011 episode of The Graham Norton Show, McPherson said her unexpected kiss with Hopkins took place during the auditioning process for The Edge rather than during the filming. And it wasn't so much that the kiss was unexpected, but the type of kiss was a shock. She said during the audition, the casting directors emphasized that, in spite of the 27-year age difference between her and Hopkins, it was important that they feel, quote, connected and intimate with each other. So it was suggested they kiss. McPherson explained to Norton that, having not done much acting work, she wasn't sure if she should, quote, kiss with the tongue, without the tongue, and she erred on the side of, well, the side of tongue. He went so red. <laughs> he was flustered. I got the job, though. 